Do you want to automate a sprinkler valve but don't have access to a 120 volt AC controller? I'm going to show you the best that I have found in the industry and why I believe they're the best. Welcome! In our industry, controllers and timers are synonymous. They also mean the same thing. I'm going to use the term timer throughout this video. So that we're on the same page with our topic at hand, I'll first make sure you understand the difference between AC and DC because we're going to be using that terminology a lot here. Back when Thomas Edison first harnessed electricity, he created direct current, what we commonly call DC. The flow of electricity is in one direction all the time. It was soon learned the hard way that DC can be very dangerous, especially at high voltages. So Nikola Tesla found a solution by alternating the direction of the current, thus alternating current, or AC, is our American standard today. We generally use AC for higher voltage applications and DC for low voltage applications such as batteries. For ease of use and versatility, I always encourage the use of AC timers over DC timers. Here are 10 of the reasons why. You may be able to have the AC timer indoors in your garage so you don't need to go out in inclement weather to turn it off or program it. With Wi-Fi timers, you can operate them from the convenience of your smartphone, tablet, or computer. With an AC timer, you never need to change a battery for the timer to be operational. Many timers have a backup battery to hold the program when there's a power outage and those batteries need to be changed periodically depending on the type. These types of batteries should be replaced once a year and these lithium batteries should be replaced about five to ten years depending on the timer's owner's manual recommendation. The AC timer is typically mounted at eye level for ease of access instead of possibly down in a valve box like the DC timers. With certain models, you can operate more than four valves from one AC timer. You can connect remote control devices to the AC timer. You can connect weather sensors or rain sensors to AC timers. Now, there are a few DC timers that you can connect sensors to, but that can be logistically tricky. DC timers require a different type of solenoid called a latching solenoid, which is an added cost in many cases. Not all valves have DC solenoids available for them. I've observed that few people ever turn off their DC timers during rains or adjust the programming on them throughout the year according to the weather, so they waste a lot of water every year. People forget to replace the batteries. Anytime we discuss DC irrigation timers, we mean that they are powered by batteries. Depending on the brand and model, it can be 9 volt, AA or AAA batteries. Even if there's a solar unit attached, that solar unit is charging a battery that is powering the timer. Since we're still on the subject of AC timers and I just mentioned solar units, here's a short that I created a few years ago regarding a cross between AC timers, DC technology, and the use of a solar unit. The link to this video is in the description section in case you'd like to watch it later. Do you own a battery operated timer that maybe looks like this? Or this? And find it difficult or inconvenient to operate? Then consider this. It also is a battery operated timer, but is aided by a solar panel so no more replacing batteries. This controller has the exact same interface as the AC electrically powered timers, so it's way easier to operate. It's Hunter's XC Hybrid Timer that is available on 6 stations or 12. It will run off 4 AA batteries, but why do that when you can buy the solar panel kit and forget about replacing batteries? And it will even work with rain and wind sensors. Learn more about timers at the Sprinkler Pro's YouTube channel. I've seen the choices out there over the years regarding DC timers for sprinkler valves and the choices have been dismal. 
Many, if not most of us in the industry, consider Hunter's battery-powered node timers to be the best out there. They're sturdy, versatile, and the easiest to operate. I still reiterate that even though they're the easiest, they're still not easier than AC timers. For one thing, to save battery life, they time out pretty quickly when you're programming them or simply operating them, so you better know ahead of time how you want to program it before you begin. I've created a simple worksheet linked below that you can download and print out. The operations on the sheet match the order of operations on the timer. Just fill in the blanks and you'll be ready to program the timer. They can be wired to valves that are up to 100 feet away, so you could actually have your node sitting conveniently on your patio while the valves are some distance away connected by using professional grade irrigation wire like this. Don't use telephone wire or any other wire that isn't designed for this. The standard node timer is available in one, two, four, and six station models and is available in standard or Bluetooth models. According to my regional hunter representative, the name node was chosen because a node is a fundamental unit or point in a system, structure, or network where connections, interactions, or processes occur. Nodes run off two 9-volt batteries that should be changed once a year. I write on them the month and year I install them with a Sharpie. If you don't want to have to keep replacing batteries every year, you can have a solar unit installed. Rain sensors and wind sensors are available too if needed. As you can see here, the interface is missing on the Bluetooth model because you program it using your smartphone. There's an app for that. I'll explain how to use the app in the node programming video. These buttons are for turning on and off the valve manually when you don't have your phone handy. And this is a battery level indicator button. The benefits of the Bluetooth model are that you don't have to lean over or get on your knees to operate this like you would with the standard model. You can easily program and operate it from your smartphone within a close enough proximity, even from inside your house. You can have many of these listed in your app and you just choose the one you need to access as long as you're close enough to it. As you see here, the Bluetooth model has add-ons available for it as well. Note that the Bluetooth model does not have a six station version, just one, two, and four stations. Both versions are waterproof and have three programs. The standard version has four start times per program and the Bluetooth model has eight start times per program. There are other less common features not mentioned here. Again, I'll show you how to program and operate this model on my other video. So these are my two picks. The Hunter Node Standard and Bluetooth family of timers. I have all these products available on my resources site linked below and I thank you ahead of time for your purchases. I appreciate it. Remember your free downloads to help you with your irrigation system. Please like and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.